allowing Jokic and going one on one with him to try to turn him into a score. See, turning the corner, gives it right back. Embiid, always a willing shooter from three point range. What's good, guys? Prince Sports coming at you with another one. Well, you know, there was a time in the NBA when you played a five position. It was considered a dying dang. It got pretty much deleted from the all-star game and the league became more guard orientated and it came more wide open for scoring. But you got two guys in the NBA right now that's bringing the number five position back and they've been putting it on a map, laying it down for quite some time now. And that's the Joker and, and Joe Ambi. Both guys probably destined to become two top five centers of all time. But this rivalry that these two have, the comparison that they go at each other e each and every year. While Joe Embiid has had the edge over the, the Joker, I believe he's six and two against the Joker. And he scored 41 points or more against the Joker twice. So it's fair to say that Joe Embiid is a better scorer than the Joker, but not quite so much as you may think. Now he is a more skillful scorer he is a more better volume scorer. Once he gets hot, he gets hot. But the thing with Joe B, he could go up and down with his scoring. The Joker is a little more consistent with his scoring. You know what you're going to get on a more nightly basis. And he's a more effective scorer. That's the difference. Now, when, once you're a more effective scorer, you have more of an impact on winning. And hence to why the Joker has a championship and Joe B doesn't. And that's the one thing that the Joker will always have over Joe Embiid because they both get individual accolades. Hell, Joe Embiid may have more individual accolades than the Joker when it's set and done because he's on his way to getting two MVPs. While the Joker has um, two as well, but one of those you could make a case that really belonged to Joe Embiid, but he missed it because of injuries. But he also has a scoring title. So he has an MVP and a scoring title. The Joker has two MVPs. So they both tie that individual accomplishments. But not so quite because a championship is the thing that separates them both again. So the Joker does have a slight edge, but he's not a better defensive player. He's not a better, quote unquote, more skillful scorer than Joe and B and Joe and B put it on him. All right. Dropped 41 beans on him, you know, outplayed him. But here's the thing for all those people that say Joe and B is better than the Joker because, uh, Pacers without Halliburton on Sunday in Denver. Embiid against Jokic. Crowd swells up. Embiid hits it on. Knocking down two of his three. Jokic going right at Embiid. And gets him deep. Jokic score. The Joker has a better team, but Joe Embiid is a better basketball player. Okay? So, if that's the case, Joe Embiid played with more talent than the Joker. He played with Jimmy Butler, who was arguably better than anybody else on the set on the Denver Nuggets team outside of the Joker all right Jamal Murray ain't better than Jimmy Buckets Jimmy Buckets is a you know he's a seasoned veteran but I digress the thing is you see these two guys go Glock for Glock NBA status battle of the bigs it's a beautiful thing to watch but one thing's for certain Joe Embiid got to win the championship if he keeps outplaying the Joker in regular season games but can't win another championship and Joe M and the Joker goes on to win another NBA championship, wow. That's pie in the face of Joe and B. You got to get it done in the regular season. And uh, you're third place in the East. You're right there, a wild card in the East. Now, are you true title contenders? I wouldn't say you are true title contenders. Denver Nuggets seems to have a more system in place as a better team, but that still doesn't mean you can't go out like a G, okay? If the Philadelphia 76ers lose, depending on how they lose, is a complete different story. If they lose with him being dominant, and it's a clear case that the teammates just isn't better than the other team's teammates, then it is what it is in that aspect. But if the games are extremely close and Joe and B don't show up when they need him most, then that's the problem and the Joker goes on to win another chip, then this conversation of Battle of the Bigs may not even be a conversation no more. And 
the Joker would just leapfrog past the guy. He already got the biggest prize there is, a championship. And that's what sports is all about, winning. This is the way Prince Sports out. Peace.